jail. It's the 19th day that he's been without food. The reason for this is that the church that we're standing at cares more about their perceived legal rights than the religious liberty of Christians. Now, we have been sued for trademark infringement. Our members are being jailed. Our church house has been raided. Our signs have been destroyed. Our materials have been confiscated. Because they say that we're confusing people with the name of our church. Now, I have here a statement that was released by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And to put this diplomatically, there are several outright lies about the history of this case and the facts. For example, prior to filing a claim in 2006, the Seventh-day Adventist Church attempted on multiple occasions to reach out to McGill, asking him to cease and desist usage of the name Seventh-day Adventist. After numerous attempts to resolve this matter amicably, the Adventist Church filed suit. Now, in the court records, as well as our church records, you'll find there is not one attempt made to contact us about this. Not one attempt was made to reach out to Pastor McGill amicably. Not even a legal complaint was received before a lawsuit was initiated. Now, while you are here, my name is Lucan Chartier. I'm a member of the Creation Seventh-day Adventist Church. And as a representative of that church, I would like to say officially that we are not associated with the Seventh-day Adventist denomination. We would prefer that you did not confuse us with them. Frankly, to be confused with an organization that has this as their modus operandi, that will call the police to haul away people who disagree with their beliefs, is something that no Christian in their right mind would want to be associated with.